Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So in our last lecture of collection series, we discussed about list and set interfaces, wherein we discussed that in order to store the duplicate values, we go for list collection, we go for either array list or linked list. And in order to store the unique values, we go for hash set, linked hash set and tree set. So in order to understand which one to be used in which case, I'll request you to please go back to my previous videos to gain good, gain some good understanding around this because it will help you understand the current lecture as well. So in today's lecture, we are going to cover very important collection that is map because after learning this particular collection, you will be able to solve most of your programming problems. So let us try to understand the hierarchy. So though map is part of collection framework, but it does not fall under iTrable, right? So just note it then down that it does not fall under iTrable. So we won't be able to use the iTrable methods. Okay. So map itself is the root node in case of a map hierarchy. Then map is an interface, so we cannot create object of it. So what do we need? We need some concrete classes. So we have an abstract map which is implementing this map but it is partially implementing because this is abstract map meaning for example if map has 10 methods maybe abstract map is not implementing all those methods so hash map uh, then extending this particular abstract map class and providing the implementation of rest of the methods right so let us quickly try to understand uh, these three collections which these three i mean maps which we are going to cover as part of a series um, so hash map in case we are not bothered about the insertion order meaning for example if we are trying to add the values but we are not worried about maintaining the insertion order then we go for hash map map and in case we want to maintain the insertion order we go for the linked hash map and in case we want to maintain the sorting order then we go for the tree map so th th this is just a high level understanding but we will be diving deep into it so in current lecture the focus would be hash map and various methods that we need to use and in the next lecture we'll be covering linked hash map and tree map okay now before we move on let us try to understand what is the need of map right so uh, as we have just covered that using list and set we can store duplicate as well as unique values. But what if we want to store the name of employees as well as their ages, right? So for that purpose, list cannot help us, even set cannot help us. So for that purpose, in order to store uh, some keys, some data, and then we want to store some uh, different value for that particular um, element. So for example, in case we want to store the name of employees and we want to store the ages of employee so in that case we go for the map so now let us so at a high level just consider like map is used to store the key value pairs right this is just a high level understanding you can understand for now but when you will when we will demonstrate it you will get good good understanding these are some of the attributes of map map contains unique keys and map contain can contain multiple null values but it can contain only one null key so we'll be covering each one of these during the demonstration now i have tried to visualize how a map look like right so as we discussed map contains key and value so for example i want to store name of employee and their respective ages so what i have done this is the key prince is a key and 32 is value similarly raman is a key and 31 is a value right so this is name and this is age right now we just discussed that keys are unique so we can call it like this is a key set because set contains the unique values and these values can be duplicate as well as unique because two person can have uh, same name and can have different edges as well so i'm just referring it by collection right and this particular key and value become one entry and the entire key and value meaning this multiple entries become an entry set so i'm just trying to give you some good understanding at high level right now how map internally works what actually happens and how it stores though it is not part of current series but i'm just trying to give you some 
a high level understanding how it internally works but in case you are really interested in how uh, they internally work and how the entire process takes place i can create a video on that but you can provide me in comment provide me comment in the comment section now in order to initialize uh, object of any class what we need we need to write new hash map so this is how we initialize the hash map right similarly we can do linked hash map and tree map as well so as we are covering hash map so i am creating the object of new hash map and as soon as we are creating the object of it we need some reference variable so this is nothing but map because hash map is the child of map so we are providing map in the left side right <laughs> and in map we provide key value in the form of angle bracket so this is how we initialize the map so as soon as we write new hash map what happens by default it initializes one array of 16 buckets starting from 0th index to the 15th index so one array is created in the memory right once this array is created the next thing is when we want to add value into the map so for that purpose we use a put method Right, right so put is a method to put the values right so as we discussed that we want to store key as well as respective values so this is how this is the syntax of adding the value into the key and value into the map right as soon as we type in this particular or we write this particular statement and this particular statement is processed during the programming what happens corresponding to this key one hash method is called and one hash is generated and corresponding to hash using some internal mechanism it generates one index ranging from 0 to 15th right and whichever the index it will get on that particular section or on or in that particular bucket that this particular key will be assigned and respective value will also be assigned right so this is how it internally works right we will try to understand uh, uh, like uh, from the demonstration point of view as well right now we have covered uh, uh, the map interface we covered hash map in case we want to uh, we are not worried about insertion order then we go for hash map and in case we want to maintain the insertion order we go for the linked hash map and in case we want to maintain the sorting order we go for the tree map right now let us try to understand from the demonstration okay what I have done I'm simply using a maven project right uh, wherein I'm using uh, a pom.xml so this is the basis of any maven project and I'm using selenium 4 and uh, web driver manager as well right so now I'm coming to the main map demo which is a class that I have created and I have one main method as well right now I'm just quickly uh, trying to show you what we were doing in case of list and set so we were writing like this new array list and then we were adding list dot add right and we were for example adding prints right but what happens in case of map so i'm just commenting this section i'm just i was just giving you a glimpse uh, a remind uh, now how to uh, initialize the map so new hash map and this is key and value if you hover over here it is says key and value it is expecting key and value right now once we have initialized the object what we need we need one reference variable so map of this and let us give it name hash map hm right you see that it is giving some error because we need to provide the values so for example string comma string so what does it mean in case i want to store key as a string and value as a string i will be using map of string comma string in case i want to store key as a string but value as an integer then i'll be using uh, map of string comma integer and this particular section is optional in the right side but we can provide it for the readability purpose right now let us try to understand what it is doing actually in internally so when we go inside so you see that it construct an hash map with default initial capacity 16 and default load factor is 0.75 what does it mean it means by default it will be having 15 16 buckets meaning 0 to 15 and the default load cap uh, load factor is 0.75 what does it mean if we will multiply 16 into 0.75 it will become 12 
so as soon as this particular map is loaded with 12 values it the the array size will be increased it will be resized okay so this is not, this is what is load vector right now let us try to understand uh, how it internally work whatever we just mentioned so i'm simply going to add prints comma 32 right now i'm going to uh, go inside the definition hash map because we are talking about hash map so i'll go into the implementation of hash map so you see it is internally calling put value and before that on the key it is calling the hash and here also what it is doing key dot hash code so this is how they are generating the hash code and now using this hash code internally they are generating an index and assigning the value right so this is how it internally works right now uh, this is how we add the values so how to add the value this is how we add right hm dot let us say i want to add some more value amit comma 31 similarly hm dot put rohit comma 30 hm dot put virat comma 29 right now we talked about that it does not maintain the insertion order so let us try to understand what does it mean now let us see so if we, if i'll print it we will see that it is not maintaining the insertion order so you see we added prints on the first place but it is printing rohit on the first place so it means whichever order we are adding the values into it it is not maintaining right so for that purpose we use the linked hash map so that we'll be discussing in the next lecture right so so far we covered about the internal implementation we covered about not maintaining the insertion order in hash map the next thing is it contains the unique keys right so how to confirm that so for example i'm again adding prints but this time what i'm going to do i am going to change the value to 33 and now let us run this Now you see that Rohit is 30, Prince is 33, Amit is 31 and Virat is 29. So you see at first 32 was added, Prince was a key added and 32 value was added. When you add a different value, right, new value, what happens in that case? In that case, the value would be updated but key will be maintained and internally the unique keys will be maintained because you see that we don't have multiple entries for Prince, we only have one entry. So when we want to replace something, we use this concept. For example, corresponding to one key, we want to replace some value, then we use this particular concept, right? Now we have understood that it maintains the unique keys. Can it contain null values, null keys, I mean? So for that purpose, I'm just simply adding 34 and I'll try to print in this case. So we just mentioned that it can contain uh, one unique keys one null unique key right this is what I, i'm just showing so it will print that right can it contain null values yes it can contain null values also so you see it is saying like that right so this is what we have covered now we have covered like uh, i'm just uh, commenting the irrelevant lines now we have covered how to initialize the map and how to add values into the map next thing is how to get the values so there is a get method using which for example corresponding to name i want to get the age so what i'll simply do i'll simply run this and so i'll simply run this and when i'll run this what will happen corresponding to prince i'm getting age 32 so you see that we are trying to get the value with respect to key so this is how we can get the value then there is a method contains key as well as contains value right so these are used in case you want to use some condition so does it contains prince key yes it contains a prince key so it will print true in this case right does it contains value let us say 32 so this time also it will print true 
right so these are some of the methods that we use for the condition purpose right now what if i provide something irrelevant let us say i provide 18 which is not the value we provided so in this case it will return false so these are some of the methods which will be useful during the programming right so i'm just giving a gl glimpse of it now as we have just understood like how to initialize the map and how to add the values into the map and how to get the values into them from the map next thing is how to how to iterate the map first thing is we cannot iterate the map directly using the iterator why because if i go inside map so we see that it is the topmost node or topmost interface in this hierarchy while when we go to list and uh, set they fall under iterable right so we cannot use the iterator in this case so how to iterate the map so they are like multiple things so in map we have multiple methods one is entry set right so what does entry set returns it will give you map uh, entries entry set means set of entries so this is the enhanced for loop that i'm using and on the right side what do i need map dot entry right and which type of entry i need because i have initialized the map of string comma integer so what i'll be doing string comma integer and i'll give i'll be giving it some name entry right now what will we be doing let us print entry dot get key because entry has these methods and value entry dot get value now when we'll try to execute this particular um, for loop what will happen so it will print the values key as well as value so you see that we are able to print the keys and values now the next thing is what is the other way to uh, iterate it so the next way is uh, using the key set right so now again i'll be using the uh, like for loop and this time i'm going to use hm dot key set so what are the keys keys are nothing but these are the strings right so when we go by set key set it returns the set of keys so tough keys are in this case uh, like string so what is the return type it, it would be set so what do we need on the right side it would be string and i'm going to give it name key right right because this is set so set will be serving values one by one from right to left and key set is set of string so i'm just simply providing string in the left side now let us say i'm printing key is this is key right and we just discussed about another method that is value is using hm because this is the hash map dot get and key so when we will execute this particular case let us try to understand what will happen so you see it is printing key is rohit value is 30 key is prince value is 32 so this is another way and here on this particular thing we can apply iterator and then we can use the concept of while to loop as well because hash this key set is nothing but a set and on set we can apply the iterator right so we cannot use iterator directly onto the map but we can do it on the key set right now the next thing is there is another method hm dot values so as we discussed it will give collection of integer in this case because what are the values in this case these are integer so it is collection of integer so when it is integer what do we need in the right side we need integer and let us say i am giving the variable as value right now what we will do so we will print the value for example i'm just printing the value so this is how we can print the value as well right so this is these are the multiple ways we want to iterate the loop right now we have understood how to initialize the map and how to add values into the map how to get values in the map and how to use contains key and contains value method the next thing is how to use it into the test automation so let us understand the same using one example so this is the class that we are using right this is the page sorry web page we are using our sample application we are using for the collection so what 
in the previous cases we were just storing the last name for example i want to store last name and their respective email id so what we will need first of all we will have to uh, like launch this particular url we will have to go here and then we will have to store smith and then respective value similarly batch and respective email id so this is what we are going to do now right so uh, i just showed you that i am using the selenium 4 right so what i'll be doing first of all i need one web driver instance web driver driver equal to new chrome driver right now we have initialized driver right and you see when we are using uh, selenium 4 we don't need to use web driver manager concept right dot chrome driver dot setup we don't need this line neither we need system dot set property line to set the path of the chrome exe right so this is something interesting uh, which selenium 4 has introduced in case you want to understand more on this i have created a video on this that you can use for the reference right now we have initialized the driver so the next thing is to launch the url so we will be going here and i'll be coming here and copying this particular url and driver.get now the next thing is what do we need so we need we need to come here right so we have written the same code earlier right so i may be using so you did you see that i need to first of all uh, need to reach till this t body and under this these are the rows one by one these are the rows right so for that purpose i already have one x path available right i am simply going to use this and this time i am going to print it so if you see that this is the x path right now i am going to use this particular x, x path so driver dot find elements because these are the list of elements and by dot x path because we have x path and now if you hover over here this is list of web element so on the right side on the left side sorry i'll be using list of web element and i can give it name rows right now what do we need we need to iterate it one by one so we need rods on the right side and on the left side what do we need web element because these are list of web element element and now what we would need right first of all we, we will be getting element one by one so we need uh, one we, what we want to do because uh, what uh, what we are looking for first of all we are iterating these rows and during iteration we want to get last name and we want to get the email so how to get it so i'm simply going to show you so we got the x path that is what we discussed just now right now td1 right td1 is nothing but the last name right and td3 is nothing but the email right so this is what we are going to use right now we got the element so using element itself we can find the uh, for example the child element by dot x path and in first case i'll be using td of one and i can give it name string last name right and now i'll be because this is the element we need the text as well so i'll be using get text similarly i'll be copying it and I'll be pasting it here and this time I'm going to give it name email and I'll be going to change it with TD3. So we got the last name and email. The next thing is we need to put into the map. So we will be initializing the map of string comma string because both are the strings. Map comma string comma string. HM new hash map. You can give it some relevant name. Last name email map right so last name email map so we just discussed like how to add value to the map so we are iterating the list and list of element and then we want to add the values into the map one by one so we'll be using put method so what do we need in the key last name and what do we need in the value that is email right now after each after the iterations are completed what do we want we want to print the map why because we just want to verify whether the values are inserted properly or not so you understood first of all we are initializing the driver then we are launching the url 
we are going to the rows table I mean then we find found out the rows we are iterating the rows and then we are populating the map from that row and we are populating it with last name as a key and email as value right now I'm going to run it to understand how it works so you see it will first launch the Chrome browser and it will get the values get the last name and then the email and it will populate the map now let us see that it has uh, populated like this this is key this is value this is key this is value now let us confirm the same right so I'm going here and let us confirm the same so we have Smith and J Smith batch F batch do J do Conway T Conway right so whatever the last name that is available in email so let us confirm the same Smith J Smith Conway T Conway batch F batch J do J, J do right so this is how we can use it into the test automation right so this is what I wanted to cover as part of current video I hope you would have found it really very interesting though it was lengthy but it would have been very interesting and it is very important as well so thank you for watching I would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again